My name is Susan Harris, and I'm 40-something years old, and I'm graduating tomorrow from Newman with a business degree. As you can tell, I don't look like the normal college student. In order for you to better understand my story, I must share a little bit about my past with you. To sum it up in a couple of sentences, due to some childhood trauma and the death of my mother, I became a drug addict at the age of 13 and continued to use drugs for the next 27 years. During that time, I was also involved in a domestic violence relationship. When I decided finally to get it together and go to a rehab, I was told that I had used too long and they did not believe they could help me. Instead of giving up, I was lucky enough to get into St. Anthony's shelter. During my time at the shelter, I made my mind up to make every day count. After my son went off to school, I would go out looking for a job or look for some type of resources that would help us when we had to leave the shelter. And one day I came across Goodwill Training Center. I decided that in order for me to be able to make a life for me and my family, I needed to get some kind of training or education. I signed up to study for my high school diploma and Anthony's shelter was nice enough to provide me with my books and any materials that I needed throughout this process. So I used my time at the shelter to study as much as I possibly could. The staff at Anthony's shelter and a social worker that I was working with referred me to a housing program through United Methodist Open Doors. To my surprise, they all showed up at the meeting and highly recommended me to the director and explained that I was working hard to accomplish my goals. It had been a long time since someone had said anything positive about me, and that felt good. In fact, I thrived on it. I was accepted into the housing program, which gave me two years to accomplish as much as I could, and my rent was a small percentage of my income. Now all I needed was a job. During my time at Anthony Shelter, I was told about a program called Women's Initiative Network, also known as WIN. WIN is a nonprofit community partnership that provides survivors of domestic violence with educational and employment opportunities to foster healing and self-sufficiency, and was created by the Sisters of Adorers of the Blood of Christ. WIN was conceived throughout a collaborative effort between Sister Glenda and a member of the Sisters of Charity and Sister Susan Reeves, a member of the Doors of the Blood of Christ. Sister Susan was a professor and a director of the graduate program of the adult education at Newman University, and Sister Glenna was a faculty member in the nursing department. I went to the interview and I was put on a waiting list. They are a small but life-changing program that is unfortunately very un underfunded and can only help seven to 10 girls at a time. I called two or three times a week just to make sure they did not forget me. And trust me, as soon as they got an opening, they called me first probably because they were tired of me annoying them. It took almost six months to get in. While I was waiting, I was helping my kids and my family heal and studying for my diploma. When I started at WAN, I was paid to work for 20 hours a week in a secure building, given counseling and tutoring with Glenn Chambers, who's sitting right here. I started WAN in February of 2011, and that spring I graduated from high school with scores topped, uh, ranked in the top 15 in our nation and was chosen as valedictorian and spoke at our graduation. I received the Scholar of the Year Award, which came with a scholarship that I used to go to Butler Community College. While at Butler Community, I received numerous academic scholarships and awards, and I won the highest academic community service award called the Hubbard Award, which came with a scholarship that paid for a large part of my education at Newman. Throughout this whole life-changing process, one thing stayed consistent and that would be the support of the Sisters of Adores, the Blood of Christ, and the Catholic Church. My story might sound short and simple, but in order for me to accomplish everything, many sisters came together. My mentor and friend, Sister Diana, who works at Wynn, helped me every day with my everyday struggles, listened to me when I needed an ear, and helped me improve with my sewing abilities. Sister Barb, who's also here today, helped me with grammar and taught me to improve my writing skills. Sister Franchella, which couldn't be here tonight, showed me just how to make quilts and be calm with myself, just to be able to sit and be quiet. Sister Vicki, who we all know here at Newman, helped me with my education and nominated me for the National Society of Leadership, and there are many more. The Sisters of Adore literally gave me their time and their lives to help others, and I'm living proof of that. They pulled their resources together and made sure I had gas cards to get to school. They provided resources for my family to have food, educational materials, such as computers and internet. Education gave me a purpose, and my hard work and motivation was noticed by the sisters and the schools, which made me motivation to work even harder. 
I'm here today, tonight, not for myself, but to thank the sisters for what they do and how they touch our lives. I would strongly suggest to anybody that has had someone or maybe even an organization that's helped you accomplish your goals along the way and helped you change your life in some way that you acknowledge them somehow, even if it's just a thank you. Many wonderful people dedicate not only their time, but their lives just to help change yours. I do not believe I would be standing here today talking to you without the support of the Sisters of the Doors or the Catholic Church. And the saying that when you come to church and you feel like they're talking to you, the sermon today was directly towards me because I've been to the Lord's Diner. I've been to Guadal Guadalupe Clinic. I have been at the Harbor House. I lived in Anthony's shelter. And I went to Wynn and Catholic Charities. So it takes all these organizations in our community to come together to help someone change their lives. Thank you.